impact of Gulf banking on account of the IFRS 9 and again COVID-19. The combination of slowing economies and low oil price will impede lending growth. We are seeing the market momentum. Narrowing the interest margin led to a sharp increase in provisioning for bad loans, particularly given the IFRS 9 expected credit loss accounting regime that requires extensive forward-looking provisioning for sourcing loans. It depends on the regulators again and their approach to managing these banks proactively. Interest margin, the main source of revenue for the banks to narrow as the central bank interest rate cuts and higher borrowing delinquencies dents yield on lending. That's coming down. Cost of fund is also coming down. Yield is also coming down. At the same time, deposit will cost the banks more in interest as lower oil prices slows inflows of government deposit into the banks. If it continues to have low oil prices, it will have definite impact in terms of government deposits. And again, the liquidity has to be procured through external sources. The sharp contraction in business activity across most sectors, whether it is tourism, hospitality, this is a complete paralysis in the global map. Countries which are commodity driven are going to have minimum growth, but we have to be careful there. Business activity is not going to be vibrant. The non-oil economy will mean GCG banks will have to look the continuing status of the customers. Perhaps sectors which are impacting will have higher provisions against, against raising non-performing loans in the coming quarters. It remains to be seen what sort of impact it will have in terms of debt servicing for the individuals and institutions.